Melissa. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Yeah, um, right, guys, look, I was born in the 70s, right? Grew up in the 80s. Probably around the middle to late 80s is when I started getting interested in women. Now, in the 80s, your vagina was a shy creature. Right? It didn't come out often. It's not like it is now. Now all you need is a sniff of a Bacardi and Coke on a Friday night and it's out. <laughs> Luke, can we have another round of Bacardi and Coke? <laughs> um, but it was different in the 80s. Things were different. And you had to date a girl for about a year in the 80s before you even got an opportunity just to talk to a vagina. Right? You couldn't touch it, you couldn't ruffle up any hairs, but you could say a little hello. Yeah, that's about it. And if you was lucky enough to get the dress off of a girl, then you'd find the vagina was still hiding behind the biggest pair of knickers you would ever see in your life. They were huge in the 80s, massive. It was like an upturned parachute with two leg holes cutting them. <laughs> and if you was lucky enough to get the girl's knickers off, the vagina was still hiding behind the biggest triangle of black hair you have ever witnessed. They were here, the, the pubic region in the 80s for girls started at about the belly button and then kind of sort of pointed sort of downwards. You know? And the girls were all whinging about us in the 80s. They said, oh, men can't find the clitoris. Oh, you don't know where the clitoris is. Couldn't find it, it's matching in the face. I'm not surprised. Going down on a girl in the 80s was like stepping into Jumanji. You know? I, I couldn't find the clitoris in the 80s if I had a bloody treasure map and a miner's lamp. You know? We kind of went on. We got into the 90s and this new wave of feminists turned up. Right, we had them in the 60s burning their bras and doing all that kind of stuff and kind of said it's an 80s disappeared. But in the 90s, this new wave of feminists turned up. And they decided they'd had enough of doing the crossword puzzle while having sex. <laughs> they wanted to feel something. So, whew, pubic hair's gone. No more. Hasn't been seen since, on men or women, to be honest, at the moment. The pubic hair was gone and they started giving us men directions. I don't mind, I'll take directions. I won't ask for them, but I will take directions. You know, and you get, oh, Left a bit, or, or right a bit, right a bit, yeah, yeah. Do figure eight with your tongue. Go on, do, do figure eight. Write the alphabet. Go on, write the alphabet with your tongue. That's it, just oh. <laughs> But the problem is, when the feminists took this pubic hair away, they got rid of a long-standing tradition. And it wasn't just in this country, it was every country, and in England as well. And it was that tradition of a man looking up from between his girl's legs and going, I can't get it down all up on... Oh, it's one of your mums. I'm not making that mistake twice, I tell you. Because, you see, your feminists, they want to even things up a bit. They want to keep the world even. Right? But it, it's not an even place. The world is, is full of, of unevenness and, and everything else, right? Give you an example. We'll take your homophobic fucktards to start off with. Right? 2018, we still have homophobic people. Which I don't believe in, by the way. To me, if you've got homophobia, it means you're afraid of your own house. Right? But these guys don't like other men having sex with other guys. Nothing to do with themselves. They don't like other men having sex with other guys. But yet your homophobic will then come home on a Friday night from the pub, all tanked up, walk in and see his missus and go, hey darling, do you fancy a bit of anal tonight? <laughs> no, that's gay sex. Leave it to the gay guys. Don't be homophobic and then want gay sex with your wife. Bum sex is gay sex. The, guy, the gay guys got it covered, leave them to it. Okay? Your lesbians, take your lesbians. There's another unevenness in the world. Now, as a straight guy, I love a lesbian. Right? All straight guys do love a lesbian. In fact, we love lesbians so much that we will actively encourage our wives and girlfriends to cheat on us, <laughs> providing it's with another woman, and providing we can watch. <laughs> now, that doesn't go the other way around, does it? You will never get a woman saying to her fella, do you know Nigel in the photocopy room? <laughs> yeah, I know Nigel, a lovely fella. So he's 47 and still a virgin. Is he really? God, you can't tell by looking at him, can you? Just wouldn't know. 
We know you keep saying you want to try a bit of anal. Do you think you want to do him a favour? And maybe I can sit and watch your middle-aged sagging scrotums get all twisted up while you bump dickheads or something. It doesn't happen because the world is uneven. It doesn't happen because women don't want to see men naked. There's another unevenness for you, right? Women on a whole, you've got nice bodies. Right? Us men like your bodies. You might think you're too fat, you're too short, stretch marks, whatever else. But guys, right, you'll back me up on this, right? Once you've seen one woman naked, you want to see the rest of them naked. Right? Could be some old biker chick with one eye and tits hanging down here. You want to see me naked? Oh yeah, I do. Oh. Oh, right, that's enough, roll them back up. <laughs> we could now have any woman in this room could say, who wants to see my tits? And all the blokes would be going, yeah, yeah I'll see some tits, yeah, yeah, I'll see some tits. <laughs> if I now say, who wants to see my bollocks? Everyone's going to go, no, you're right, son, fucking <laughs> Jesus. Turn it in, I'm on a Tinder date here, boy, give it up. <laughs> my own wife doesn't want to see me naked. Right? This, this is true, she, I'm going to go on from here tonight, uh, my lovely wife should already be in bed. She'll be sitting there with a little Sudoku puzzle book, which is another fucking great mystery of the world, by the way. Sudoku puzzle. Writing the numbers one to nine in a box. Ooh, it's difficult, isn't it? So she'll be in bed, right? So you guys, right, you're now my wife sitting in bed, right? I'll be here getting changed. Now our laundry bin is behind us in the wardrobe, right? So I'll be chatting to her, getting undressed, going, yeah, baby, yeah, 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 good night, good night. Yeah, you know, you know Luke's Mrs. Megan. Well, I reckon if you ever want to try a bird, I think she'd be up for it, right? Thank you. So, yeah. so I'm now this way to my wife, and I've got to drop me cacks. Now it's Friday night, so Spider-Man pajamas tonight, the sexy stuff, right? So I'm going to drop me cacks, right? That's what my wife's going to drop. That's what she's going to see. <laughs> Didn't think you get that tonight, did you? When you come out. <laughs> A summit to tell your mates at work, you know, on Monday. Oh, it's a comedy gig. Oh, it's alright. So I got paid ten bucks, had some guy swing his nuts in my face. It's a good night for some people, my friend. Yeah, I'll tell you what, look, stay there. I'll see if I can teabag you from the stage. Right? You stay. You do it. You just get me up, no? Okay, right, yeah. This is what happens when you get older, guys, alright? For any younger fellas. I'm gonna, um. I'm gonna try and finish off with a song tonight, which is gonna be interesting. Um, <laughs> just grab the old guitar, see if it's still in tune. Where are we? I haven't done this one before, so it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Can you all hear the guitar right? Yeah? Yeah, okay. This is a song about, uh, um, about getting older. So, uh, any of you lovely fellas that are my age or above, you'll probably uh, completely uh, appreciate this. It's called Nobody Told Me. Just a young lad, mama said to me Your body will soon change, son, you just wait and see Now I am much older, it turns out she was right I look into the mirror and give myself a fright Walk on <laughs> I've got some floppy mad boobs, I have a sagging bum My belly keeps on moving when I finish with my run She said your hair might fall out and maybe your teeth too You may even forget where you're supposed to do a poo <laughs> Sorry, mate. I'll clear it up. <laughs> but no one ever tells you, no, this I guarantee. Dad didn't tell my brothers and they did not tell me. First time out it happens like a punching in the guts. Jumped into my van last week and sat on my own nuts. <laughs> Sat on my own nuts, well I sat on my own nuts I jumped into my van last week and sat on my own nuts Sat on my own nuts You'll be humming, it's all fucking night now, you watch that <laughs> <laughs> I figured out some things to do now that they're swinging low Like use them as a cushion or even as a throw Use them as a fluffy scarf or even as a hat And if I really wanted a hessian doormat <laughs> They scrape along, they drag along, I've got a gravel rash My wife said we should cut them off, I said let's not be brash They're getting even bigger, it's a fact I cannot hide I swing them to and fro and can smack my own backside <laughs> Mama, you never told me Of this I can be sure 
When I walked out of my house tonight and I shut them in the door I could use them to swap pesky bees They kind of look like elephant knees You never ever told me about my nuts Big finish! Sit on my own nuts, where well, I sit on my own nuts You never ever told me I'd sit on my own nuts Sit on my own nuts, oh mama, I can sit on my own nuts. You never told me that I'd sit on my own nuts.